Okay, so we had some questions about the shots where you split the loop, and we're gonna explain a little bit of what's going on in my right hand to do that. So when you split the loop, I'm gonna come a little bit closer here. Basically, in essence, you're going to drop the bottom of the loop and you're gonna hold the spoke, okay? That's a very kindergarten way of explaining that, but that's what you're gonna do. I'm gonna demonstrate it one more time. Hold the spoke, drop the loop. To make that easier for you, you can take your pinky and you can set it inside between those two. And then when you drop, it's a little bit easier to hold on to the spoke. If you don't do that, sometimes you might drop the whole loop. So I'm just gonna demonstrate real quick. When you're doing a normal overhand shot, you're gonna drop everything together. Okay, just like that. And when you split the loop, that's what you're gonna do. So in the Del Viento, if you're practicing splitting the loop, I would recommend doing the Del Viento first. Um, so I'll just show that only because it's easier to, to feel and see. So as I'm spinning, I can do it without my pinky in there. I can do it with my pinky in there. What I'm gonna try to do for a little while before I even try to make the Del Viento, you can just try to hold the spoke and let it zip out there. Just like that, okay? Now, some of these loops, the further back you go, it's not just holding it, it's guiding it and letting it run through your hand, which we can show you a little bit of that. But the further back I go on these splitting the loop shots, the more I need to be cognizant of what my hand is doing with the loop or with the spoke. So basic premise, hold the spoke, drop the bottom of the loop. That's kind of what we're doing in those splitting the loop shots. So if you like this video and want to see more videos just like this, please like and subscribe to the Startup Cowboy channel.